change the way you are. Change the way you operate. If you're doing something contrary to the Bible, you're selling drugs, stuck. You're wearing pants, stuck. You're smoking cigarettes, stuck. You're killing your people. You have to stop change and go. starting from that point on, don't do that anymore. It's just that simple, really. If we don't do that, we're going to stay at the bottom. It's not always just about us. It's about the next person because give me um, Matthew chapter 5 verse 17 because it's not just about us what you do affects somebody else what, it's not just about right, my actions only affect me no what those brothers do that affect all of us that affect the next people you might not even know them. now somebody is breaking your car trying to get some drugs from them you know what I mean you don't even know the perpetuation of how sin works it doesn't just stop with you read Matthew chapter 5 verse 17 Again. think not that I have come to destroy the law so Christ this is Christ talking right here. He said he didn't come to destroy the law. Christ did not come to destroy the law. Read. Or the prophets. Or the prophets. The things that the prophets written about him, the things that were written before he came on this earth, he didn't say destroy that. That, still, that thing holds true today as it did when he said it. Read. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. He came to fulfill things written of him. Read. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled is heaven and earth still here is heaven and earth still here Rudy. heaven and earth is not still here Which? no no we live a hell is a state of mind but the actual planet earth is still here heaven is still up in that sky so i'm saying but we are living in a condition of hell this is what that is that's exactly what that is we this type of stuff right here how many look at all these faces you got on your shirt think about this nobody else is going through this and but you have the ability to help change that one person at a time just your example that's why i want y'all to see your example can change that you have that power read till heaven and earth pass one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law read till all be fulfilled read whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so so in our minds a lot of women think like this as well a least commandment be like god not gonna kill me for wearing pants you, don't, you think god will kill you for wearing pants you ever put the death for wearing pants, Ruth? That is according to the Bible. I know, but it says, if you still break one of these least commandments, that's what it says, and teach man so. How do you teach somebody something? Your example, the way that you write, you lead by example. Exactly, exactly. So this, the way that you move is the way that you teach somebody. If you have a kid and you have on pants all the time, when they grow up, they're gonna think it's okay to do that. If you, if, they, if you smoke cigarettes around your kids, they're going to think it's okay to do that. If you sell drugs around your kids, they're going to think it's okay to do that. That is a part of perpetuating the system, a thing that's in place. Read. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Right. So that's what's going to happen. You're going to be called the least. That means you're not going to be there. That means you want to be at the bottom. The scriptures say they're going to look upon the dead bodies that's burning forever. That's the least of the kingdom of heaven. So give me Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 8. Because I want y'all to see this because it seems like a small thing. All of these commandments in this Bible are for our good. They are to make us better. That's what it's here for. Read. Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 8. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such are clothed with strange apparel. Read that again. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. When is the Lord's, the Lord's sacrifice? Y'all know what that is? The Lord's sacrifice. Read that again. You said what? You 
you gonna let me answer that? All right, what, what is it? And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. The day of the Lord's sacrifice is the day of judgment. The day he come back. The day he come back, that's the day of the Lord's sacrifice. Because what? Because a whole lot of people gonna get put to death that day. When back in the day, to get rid of sin, we had to sacrifice animals. He is going to sacrifice, gonna kill all those people that disobey his Bible. That's just what's gonna happen. That's the day of the Lord's sacrifice. Everybody that's selling drugs, everybody that's smoking cigarettes, that's wearing pants, that's breaking the Lord's Sabbath day. But today is the Lord's Sabbath day. The day we're not, we're not supposed to buy, sell, cook, or work today. That's another, that's another law that we don't keep no more. But that is a part of the Bible. This is how we're supposed to conduct ourselves. We have law, statutes, and commandments in which our nation is supposed to adhere to or do what it say. This is the, so we read the King James Version. King James Version Bible. All right, so read that, read that last part. Read it again, all the way from the top. And it shall come to pass that I will, uh, and it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. And all those that are clothed with strange apparel. Wearing pants is strange apparel. That strange apparel according to God. Abomination. Abomination is something that's sickening, disgusting, something that you cannot even look at. God can't even look at you. But he, just like how it makes us sick to look at a woman with a man with a dress on, that's God is sickening to him to see women like that. get yourself together. It's a process, sis, but you got to keep working. Like I said, this is the way you get understanding, though. For, give me Psalm chapter 111, verse 10. Because first, you do, you, you hear the word, and then it, it convicts you to want to change, right? But you got to still be making steps to get yourself better each day. Each day, you got to get better. And then now we got, don't pay these brothers no mind, though, because this is to try to stop you from hearing the word of God right now. We out here actually put in the word right now. Read Psalms chapter 111 verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. Read that again. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So it says the fear of the Lord, the respect of what this Bible say, the fear that you know that if you're not doing what this Bible say, that's how you get wisdom. By doing what this Bible says, because if you're not doing it, you fear that God will judge you. That God will put you to death for not doing what this Bible says do. We don't know what our grace is. We don't know how much grace we got. Everybody got different levels of grace. Read. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding of all things that do His commandments. A good understanding of all that's how you get understanding. The book, the Bible is a locked book until you start doing what it says. That's why there's so many different religions off this one Bible. That's why so many, because nobody is actually doing what it says. They doing their own thing. Everybody, give me Mark 4. So I'm saying, these brothers, like I said, we, we try to deal with you to try to show you how to get your life right, sis. What we doing wrong out here? Nothing at all. But these brothers is trying to stop God's work. Why you lie, man? Bring it out! Oh, man. 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 Oh,
the and these are they by the wayside. Where the worms is sown, they are the ones that And these are they by the wayside. Because I want to show you right now. This is actually fulfilling what the Bible is saying. It's actually showing you how our people is going to act in these last days. Right. Read. Where the word is sown. The word is being sown. The word is trying to heal our community. But these brothers don't want to hear the word. They despise God's word. They hate God. Read. But when they have heard, Satan comes. Immediately to try to stop this word from coming out. That's what they try to do. Like I said, if the so-called white man was out here teaching, they would have never did this. They would have never did this. Because the white man is their God. They would have never did this if the white man would have came out here. Period point blank. But the white man is their God. They think they alright because they get food. So whatever y'all get, or y'all got a couple hundred dollars. This is against God's laws, what y'all doing, brother. Y'all showing hatred. Go get y'all a job, man. Read. And these are they by the wayside, where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan coming immediately. So we see who Satan is today. Right. Satan is those that got this speaker playing right now. Right. That's Satan. Right. Give me Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Bring it out. Because this is hatred, brothers. This is hatred. Like I said, the scripture said, don't hate your brother. But y'all out here showing straight up hatred right now. Without a doubt, read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Brother, that is hatred. The Bible says don't hate thy brother. That means show respect to the word of God. Saying, show respect to the word of God. Your brothers are showing hatred out here. Like I said, if the white man was out here, you wouldn't be acting like this. But y'all hate us so much. The white man ain't gotta come out here to do, to do the work. Y'all gonna do the work for him. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. And you shall rebuke your neighbor. Correcting y'all brothers. How many of y'all say hey, we gotta get a job? We gotta stop smoking. We gotta take care of our kids. But no, y'all wanna stay being the devil on earth. That's what y'all are doing. Read. Thou shalt in any rise rebuke thy neighbor. You gotta correct your brother, man. Why y'all why y'all wanna live at the bottom of society? Y'all don't own no blocks, no corners, everything you got is tools and few. You risking your whole life for no reason. Read. And not suffer sin upon him. You can't suffer sin upon your brother. If, you, if your brother not taking care of his kids, you gotta correct him. If he not if he not married, you gotta tell him to stop being a whoremonger. Come over here. Hey, come over here, sir. That's that's being a man right there. That's what a man's ought to be about. Correcting somebody. Not perpetuating sin. Not letting stuff keep on happening in your community. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Read, read for neighbor. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear grudge against the children of thy people. We can't avenge or bear grudge, brother. You can't go and get retaliation. You know what I'm saying? That being a grudge is going to show a hatred. Read. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So it says, you shall love thy neighbor as thyself. This is a commandment from God. You will be judged accordingly if you don't do it. You have to apply the Bible to your life, man. You're dying. We out here dying out here. Every day we dying. And, and, and y'all don't care. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision 
The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.